Hello everyone, Minoxon here, bringing you episode 19 in our Let's Build It MechWare Online series. Today's mech will be the Atlas DDC Big Daddy. The DDC is the most popular of the Atlas variants for competitive play, thanks to its ECM. And while it can be difficult to perform explosively in solo play when teamed up in a four-man, its combat potential is greatly increased. This build is designed to fight from a distance while providing your team with ECM, but also with enough SRM punch that you can fend off those close attackers. Watch your minimap and keep your teammates shrouded with your ECM to help ensure victory. Alright, let's see about breaking down our Atlas DDC Big Daddy. You're moving at a speed of 52.6 kph. You are a 100 ton assault mech, the biggest that there is. You have a firepower of 52, a heat efficiency of 1.19, so watch it if you fire all of your weapons together. Armor of standard, uh, 528 points there, and we have endosteel structure. For weapons, we have three SRM-4s, one AMS, two large lasers, and two Ultra AC-5s. We have 13 double heat sinks with a standard 325 engine and Guardian ECM. For our modules, we have advanced sensor range, target info gathering, advanced zoom, and advanced seismic sensor. Now let's look at the loadout. In the right arm, we have a large laser and one ton of our Ultra AC-5 ammo. We have in the right torso, two of our AC-5, UAC-5s. In the center torso, we have our standard 325 engine with two of three heat sinks hidden in there with one ton of Ultra AC-5 ammo. We have one, uh, one ton of Ultra AC-5 in the head. In the left torso, we have three SRM-4s without Artemis, of course, uh, double heat sink and Guardian ECM. In the left arm, we have our anti-missile system, large laser, UAC-5 ammo, and AMS ammo. In the leg, we have two tons of SRM ammo and one ton of SRM ammo. Uh, so I believe total here, with this ton here, I believe we have five tons of UAC ammo total and three tons of SRM ammo total, along with one ton of AMS. Let's look at the armor configuration here. As per the norm, I have shifted quite a bit of my armor to the front here. Uh, we only have 15 on the back. You are welcome to shift a little bit more back and forth depending on how uh, how uh, quick you can get turned around and prevent them from coring you out. We still have 53 points of armor on our legs. That is where we shaved from. And we've got big large lasers in here. So we shaved some off of here, but we kept a good amount of armor on there. A little bit more than on our legs. So they will have to chew on you for a while before they get rid of that ammunition. Or, and Yeah, the ammunition that's in your arms and legs. In the upgrade tab, we have standard armor, endo steel structure for an extra five tons, uh, double heat sinks, and we have standard guidance on our missiles. And that should just about do it. Let's see how it did. So now we have played for an hour, and a link to the first drop in the playlist for Big Daddy, the DDC, will be in an annotation on the Spinning Atlas. Feel free to check out all the available Ride Along videos, and then come back for the stats breakdown, or keep watching, and then go for those videos later. Now for the performance. We played 9 matches in the hour, we won 3 and lost 6, giving us a win ratio of 33.3%. We scored 5 kills with 4 deaths, leaving a kill death score of 1.25 with 44 assists. Our total damage for our matches was 3,871, which averages out to 430 damage per match. Now for the final thoughts. While I only managed a 33% win ratio, I feel that a good part of that was my own fault. So what could I have done better? Well, be sure to watch that mini-map. You need to be very positionally aware of your team and the enemy team as well. You'll want to keep your ECM alive and active for as long as possible to shroud your teammates. And also use those UAC-5s to shake up the enemy. If you see someone sniping, then use those cannons to drive them back under cover. Remember that your arms are low slung in position far apart, so try to use them only in opportune moments. It will take some getting used to, and speaking of getting used to something, then you'll need to practice leading your targets with those SRMs in your left torso. Well, I hope you guys have enjoyed this build. Have fun out there, Mech Warriors, and I will catch you in the next episode of Let's Build It. If you have a suggestion for a future episode, be sure to leave a comment below and maybe your idea will make it into a video. Thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed this video and would like to see more like it, then be sure to subscribe. Also, if you can take a sec and hit that like button, that always helps. I'll catch you next time, Mech Warriors. Minoxin out.